Okay, YouTube, here's your crazy girl cooking. I'm back. This is as live as I can get because it's just going to be a hangout. I have to do this recipe, which I didn't get to. I was supposed to do it last week. But, not last week, a few days ago. Three days it's been in the fridge waiting. It's Wednesday. It's Valentine's. We're going out to dinner. I'm not going to have to cook, so I can't waste food. You know, I'm not going to waste nothing. This is an easy recipe I got from my daughter-in-law several years ago. So simple, but delicious. And the thing is, I always go and check and see if there's, because there's always new versions. There's no new recipes on YouTube. There's always everybody's different versions. And this is cauliflower with red onion. And what we do is we add sliced Kalamata olives to it. It's delicious. It gets roasted in the oven. But what I learned, and I'll cut this as I'm talking, you get a full head of cauliflower, beautiful full head, and then you cut the core out, and then you see these big giant pieces. They're too big. So we want to cut those down in half so you have that, that nice half thing. And throw them on a sheet pan. It's been washed. Cut them to, you know, bite-sized pieces. Some are going to be a little bit bigger. If you want to trim that down, basically it's just take that one little head that you get off the, and cut in half. And you keep going. So I'll talk while I'm doing this because this is really a simple recipe, but I'm promising you it is very delicious. When I'm cutting calories and I'm thinking I want to go all healthy and I get into my veggies, if I don't feel like having salads, but I have salad one day and I want veggies the next day for lunch, roasted, or whatever have you, this is a go-to for me because I just like cauliflower. It's right in there with broccoli. To me, it's the white broccoli. And... I don't eat enough of it, so I usually make this to make sure I'm getting a, a good balance and variety of vegetables. I like all of them, but I don't tend to, like everybody, you don't sit there and say, oh, let me go out and get the rainbow of vegetables. No, I don't do that either. I just try to, one day I'll have broccoli. If we make a steak, the next day I'll say, okay, so now we got to do string beans. I switch it up like that during the week and when I'm dieting. So I love this recipe. I've been making it for... About 15, 40, no, about 12 to 15 years, something like that. That's how good it is. It's just a, you know, repertoire keeper, pantry keeper, and it's it's not too expensive. I mean, you could get cauliflower on sale, fresh, but this was a really nice piece, okay? And here's what I was going to say, getting back to researching and um, going on the internet and YouTube. So I said, let me go on and look. And there was this wonderful chef lady that's on there. She never shows her face. I think she's from another country. And I can't even say the name of her channel, or I would. But anyways, she had this. And I saw my cauliflower. had the red onions. I saw the sheep. And I said, oh, that's, that's my recipe. That's the one I like. Okay, so I watched. And all I do is roast this, and we eat it like that as a side. What she did, I said, okay, she's not putting the calamala olives. Why, what kind of, what's her? She's missing. Mine's better. It's got more flavor. She didn't put the Kalamata olives for a reason. She roasted them up, and then she took the whole hot recipe cooked, the cauliflower and the red onion we're going to chop, and she put it in a blender and added a container of vegetable broth. And she blended it all up, and it turned into the most beautiful soup. So now what I could say and do for me and you, okay, now I'm getting a little poetic here. Now what I can say for me and you is if you want it as a side like I'm going to eat it, Add the Kalamata olives. If and sometimes you don't have them, it'll wind up being a little snack for a side dish, and then the next day turn it into soup. I just think that the the multi uh, recipe of this one cauliflower sheet pan roasted dishes really thrilled me. Excuse me, let me clean this up. It just thrilled me. I said that is so cool, and I've been making this all that time and never thought to. So it goes to show you, you learn something new every day. Now. I'm inspired because of that. I'm saying, wait a minute. If the cauliflower does that, if I have leftover other vegetables, now I just turn it into a soup. So um, that's my gig now. Now I'm into it. I'm into it. Take a red onion. We're going to slice it this way. See? I'm going to slice it like that. So how was that uh, video yesterday? I just wanted to share that with everyone because I was going through my old videos on my phone. I got a new phone recently. And I uh, went through and looked in videos and always research and I look for shorts and fun stuff like the, the chef. If you've been through my, my videos and my shorts, I found that I said, oh my God, how appropriate is that for a short? We were on a cruise to the Bahamas and I had never seen that. It was chef's night. 
And they can't, what, what big tada, it was so exciting and fun. So I, when I saw it through my uh, videos, I said, that's it. That's got to go up. That's got to be a short on my channel. It's so appropriate, Chef's Night. So that was fun. And then the other one, how crazy is that? I was four years ago when I started during COVID board, I went on Facebook and I started a cooking group, cooking with Janine. I still have the apron till this day. It's only four years ago. And I saw that video and I said, oh, I was hysterical, hysterical. The hair, I'm sounding weird with my voice. Me and Vinny had no equipment whatsoever. The phone was a little bit wobbly. We didn't know anything. I just literally grabbed him off the computer and said, hey, come film this for me. This will be fun. Let's do it. And you see, I mentioned YouTube on there. That's the funny part. I don't know when I transferred over from Facebook, but I remember being, it was COVID and I was cooking and I was doing the club and I was bored because people weren't pumping out as many recipes as me. I was the, the group organizer, the group uh, leader, and I'm like cooking three things a day and filming and I mean, posting them up to the Facebook and nobody else is doing it. They're commenting and, you know, put a few videos and then I got bored and I said, I, I need, I need more. I need to share more. I need to see more. And I think somewhere along that line, I said, all right, let me start a YouTube cooking channel. I started with a few videos. The green peppers and eggs was the first. I filmed it alone. That was, oh my God. I, I left it up for not only prosperity, but I left it up because that video, I think, got me through the break when I wasn't filming or making food. I was doing decorating with my hubby and we were renovating and we were moving around and doing stuff and I lost sight of the recipes and cooking. But I kept the peppers and eggs up there and to this day, it's my number one video for views. Number one video. It's almost approaching 8,000. And for me, I know, these people out there do one cooking recipe and they get 80,000. I still can't phantom it. Why people would look at one recipe, I mean, they have several million followers, but nonetheless, it's extraordinary. So for me, my eight, almost 8,000 is also extraordinary. So I had fun putting that up. And I said, I wonder, my people that have known me and been with me for a while, YouTubers, the new ones, welcome. But I'm saying the story for new people so they understand, why is this up there? That's like weird. She's putting an old one now and back and forth. But you kind of get it. It's not too hard to see what I was doing there. But lots of fun. So now you take the Kalamata olives. And these, I was lucky enough, they're pretty pricey. A jar like this could be over five bucks. I got buy one, get one uh, from Publix and a BOGO. And they're pitted. You want the pitted? Because you don't want to sit there cutting them. You really don't. Look at me. And you can put as much or as little as you want. Let me get a spoon because this is not nice to put your fingers in there. I'm always telling everybody how clean my hands are, which they are. But it's still good to have good habits. And we're leaving Friday. And I said I wasn't going to be able to get any recipes out. But as life happens, you see right here. I have to cook this. I will not let it waste. And I'm going to show you something else I have to do right after I get this because this is such an easy recipe. I'm going to do one more thing and hang out with you if you don't mind because I didn't do my walk today. I wasn't feeling good enough. I feel better, much better my stomach now because I'm eating the right things. I'm watching what I eat. I have such bad gut issues. I do. I don't eat right. And that sounds crazy, right? Because you see how I cook. But when I say I don't eat right, meaning like I'll make sausage and broccoli like I did two weeks ago was that recipe, and there'll be leftovers. And instead of going having a normal nice breakfast with cereal and milk and such, I'll go in and eat the sausage and broccoli rub for breakfast. And then I'll have something acidic for lunch and then so on and so on. And then after a few days of it, my stomach says like, oh girl, oh girl, pull it back. And then the white wine I love, which is very acidic. So it gives me some kind of stomach acidic issue. That said, I don't want to hear about that crap. Now, here's your full pan, your sheet pan. Okay. Now you're going to sprinkle the Kalamata olives over. It's coming out beautiful. This gives it a nice tangy uh, next level. It's not just boring cauliflower. And I guess if you want it, I did it once. They weren't as good and take those juices. I wasn't as happy with the green olives. I tried. I didn't have the Kalamata, but I had green uh, olives and I did it. It's okay, but it wasn't the same nice tang that this lends to it. Now what you're going to do, you're going to season it any way you want. I put a little garlic salt. You know me and the garlic salt and the garlic, right? 
because it's already got the red onions in there, so you want to complement them with some garlic. Keep it simple, a little bit of black pepper. You could use cracked. I wouldn't add too much salt because the Kalamata olives are very salty. And you know my, you know me, how I keep it low, low salt. Excuse me, I have a little coffee here. Mm -hmm. All right, now take good olive oil. You know, I'm into this one right now, but I don't want to waste it because I don't have much left. Well, let's use the Spanish one. And then you get a good liberal dose of olive oil all over. Let me see if I can show you the sheet pan a little bit better. It's beautiful. The oven's preheating at 400, and we're basically going to just roast them. And halfway through, you'll turn them. It'll probably take a good half hour. And halfway through, turn them, maybe a quarter every 15 minutes, and keep watching them. I think that's what I do because I'm obsessed with this dish. And you want all those caramelized uh, edges, black and browned, whatever, on the cauliflower. You want it more roasted. So keep that stove high. I'm going to put her in there now, and I'm going to show you something else. I got stuck. I have to do it. Got to do it. I'm not wasting my food. I'm going to eat out tonight. Alexa, set timer for 15 minutes. And you just set her. See? Now let me wipe this a little bit and get my pan and show you. I have a little bit prepped. Now, what else I had in the fridge? I will show you. And this is how Janine... Spends a day when you think I'm away from you relaxing or doing some fun chore or hobby. I spent the morning organizing my closet and getting rid of three bags of clothes because I watched somebody's house tour last night and I was so inspired because this lady, this young woman, mother, single mother of one, had the most organized house, her kitchen, her closet, everything. I said, I felt, I felt like a slob. I felt a sloppy mess. So I came. Up this morning when I woke up, I did that. First thing is I walked Millie, fed Millie. Now Millie's going to go a day early. Millie will go tomorrow to the babysitter. So she's a hot mess. After I'm finished cooking, she has to get a bath. I have to get a little bit ready, more organized for Friday because I'm not a good prepared person. And I hate flying, so I think mentally I procrastinate what I need to do. Okay, heat this pan up while that's heating up. We just tighten this, put some oil in the pan. I got leftover sausage. I don't know what I cooked recently. I think it was, didn't I make something stuffed or something with it? In any event, they're in the fridge for two days. They're still quite good. I'm not going to waste them. I cannot refreeze them. So here they are. There's three links. I can't refreeze them raw, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook them. I was going to, I'll show you the other ingredients. I'm trying to clean out the fridge. If it helps you in any way with ideas, I had a whole head of broccoli. I have plenty of white onions. Initially, I was going to, and I have a whole container of chicken broth. So my first thought was, all right, I'll do soup. And this, because I'm going to eat out today and I won't be, eating much tomorrow. We don't want to have leave the refrigerator full or any, any smells for a few days. So this has got to get all cleaned out. So I said, wait a minute, I do have to cook something tomorrow. So I saved the broccoli. Instead of doing a soup, see, I reversed it. I said, I'll make pasta with broccoli with that. Save the onion because that will last till next week. Save the chicken broth because that'll last till next time I have to do a soup recipe on here or otherwise. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to saute the sausage because the sausage could get frozen. Now that I could do stuffed little pizzas, pizzettis. I could make, um, I would say more so for the baking things. I could put it in a quiche. So now that it's safe cooked, it's three sausages. It's not terribly expensive, but it just breaks my heart to throw food out when it's good. I just, I can't. I grew up poor and, you know, a lot of days without, and I just, I can't do it. It has to be saved. If I can't save it, I'll cook it today and give it away. We used, um, we did the pizza cook-off, me and Vinny goofing around and had a great time, but we had an abundance of pizza with two people. He had two slices, I had two, and we wound up with six extra. Brought them right down to the security girl, and she enjoyed them, or whoever, friends nearby. I'll always give it away. I don't waste food. I don't like that. This I'm going to cut up, because in the pasta, I'll put it, now it's been in the fridge a few days. Another tip is to revive it, chop it up. And I'm going to put it in a container with icy cold water. 
and then tomorrow it'll be ready for me to make my pasta. So that's saved, the sausage saved. I'll show you the finished product of the roasted uh, cauliflower and onions with kalamata. And that'll be the end of that when I show you the finished finale. It was a pleasure to see you guys again. You know I can't stay away. I hope you enjoyed the old vintage video. Vintage, four years old. I can't believe I aged that fast in four years. I looked at that and looked in the mirror. I said, is that me? Yes, it is. Uh, so that's that. I'm going to fry these off camera because you don't need to see me chop up the sausage and fry it. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, guys, we're back. And I'm already chewing a piece because... It's a little after breakfast, but it's delicious. Let me see. I don't want to burn myself, but I want to show you a little bit better. See that? It's golden. Let me show you. You got to see this. It's phenomenal. It's delicious. Look at see those golden, crusty things. Now, here's the deal. Listen to this. Crazy Girl Stove, you all know. I set it for 15 minutes. It was almost done. She cooked in my oven at 400 on the bottom rack for like 22 minutes. So set it for 400, even in your mill rack, start checking it after 15. When it's fork tender, it's done, okay? If you like a little bit more crunchy, check it in 12 minutes and you might have that. But this is absolutely, I'm telling you, delicious, just like this. The olives gives it such a flavor. If you wanted to turn it into soup because you had leftovers, you could take the Kalamata olives out. You could probably pick them out. You probably could. Now, I just want to share another thing with you. Here's my cooked up sausage, all fried up. This is going to be good in so many things. I could use this for pasta, pizza, soup. I'm glad I reversed. Instead of making just one pot of soup today, that I saved the broccoli for a dinner. See that? I saved this for another dinner and the broth for another soup. So I got three meals instead of just throwing it all into one because I thought for a second. That's the stuff I love sharing with you. Another thing I want to share, and then I'll go because I got to get busy today. This is where I'm going to put my sausage to keep it a little extra, you know, uh, what is this, the, not cry back, the vacuum seal bags. Now, I haven't seen this again, but you could look on Amazon or online. This is a small bags. They're reusable. You buy, you get, it comes with like a dozen, then you could order extra. But this is, the, this is the whole sealing component. Remember instead, of, I used to have that. What was that big one? The freeze it, um, preserve it. You know it. Oh, zip and seals. Whatever. I'm bad with that stuff. You all know. But this, I got this on a Facebook ad as I was scrolling through. An ad for this came up. It has a little chargeable SUB. I'm probably saying that wrong. Vinny yells at me all the time. USB, SUB, US, whatever. You know what it is. Put it right in there. Okay. And it recharges. You plug it in. And this little gadget goes right on that blue seal you... Put it like that, and you press this top button, and ooh, vacuum seal. It vacuum seals it beautifully. So I'll get lo more longevity, longer life out of this sausage, but I plan to use it within two weeks. When I come home, I'm probably going to do another pasta with it or a what, white pizza. I might do a white pizza with mozzarella, ricotta, and broccoli with some uh, red onions. Who knows? Who knows? I'm already thinking. I'm already thinking. All right, my YouTube loves. I love you guys. I love cooking for you, and it's feeling like a whole little family with my group I'm building. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you when I get back. Keep an eye out. That's delicious.